So this will be the final image. Okay, let me take you to the next question. <coughs> so I do have a concave mirror of focal length, converging mirror or concave mirror, whatever you can call it. So the focal length of this is 10 centimeter. And an object is kept at a distance of how much? 15 centimeter. An object is kept at a distance 15 centimeter from the concave mirror. Then, now this mirror, I'm going to cut into two equal parts. Cut into two parts from the middle, and these two parts are moved perpendicular by a distance two centimeter from the previous principal axis. This is the previous principal axis. Now, will be the position of the images. <coughs> formed by the mirror. Find the distance between the images formed by the two parts, upper part and lower part. Okay, uh, you, you do notice here. I, I'm going to take this upper part and, and it is shifted here. I'll cut it, then I'll move. Similarly, I'll cut this, then I'll move it and they shifted by a distance. Okay, object distance, so now no, this no longer, no object is on the axis here. No, this is not principal axis. This will be the axis one. So we have to call this one. This will be the axis one, axis two. I'll call this mirror as two and this mirror as one. So what is this, this horizontal line, this is the principal axis of the upper part or mirror one. This is the principal axis of the lower part or the second mirror. Fine. Okay, now let's, uh, we have to find out the position of image. So what to do for this, like how to manage it. For whatever the mirror formula will apply, we'll get the object distance. So from the mirror formula, one by V plus one by equal to F anything towards right, because the incident rays are towards right. The incident rays are moving towards right. So therefore, what is the object distance will be minus 15. And the focal length, of course, it will be here. The focal length will be here, I'll, I'll change it. The focal length of this will come here, or so the focus of that first mirror will be here, and the focus of second mirror will be here. So from the mirror formula, minus 15, minus 10. The object distance will be minus 30 centimeter. But look at the object. Is it object on the axis? No, it is not on the axis. We'll calculate magnification. So magnification is finally how much? It is equal to minus two, negative. Okay, now, now what, is that? what actually happens is like, a, this will become like a height of object. The object is now below the axis one. So what is the uh, height of the object will become like a, we know magnification. So what is the Y coordinate of the image? M into magnification into minus a, I'll write it. plus four, so 30 centimeter. Uh, okay, it'll be here. From here, I should measure 30 centimeters. Let me indicate here. Mm, yeah. Four centimeter from this one. So this will be I1.
find the distributed images is asking okay I'll, I'll come to the this one so this is a position similarly similarly where the image formed by this will be again a 30 centimeter uh, th this will be the height of the object because the object is above the axis above the axis here so where the image image should be below the axis from here four centimeter So how do you can see again again I leave the formula y2 equal to m into plus a. What do you mean by minus four? So I should take the position of that image below the axis here. So from this axis. So what are the separation? So this is equal to two centimeter. Two centimeters. So total distance how much? Four plus two plus two plus four. Twelve centimeters. So what would be your answer? Final separation between the images. Is 12 centimeter. And this is our answer. And this will will be using in YDAC experiment. When we go for YDA experiment, no, I'll be I'll be using this one. How to produce core in sources? The I one I two will become core in sources. Further, are treated as. Current <coughs> one experiment is there, YDS experiment in interface.